All right, so this is a Twin Cities uh, model KTA, and it's a 1938. This was the precursor to the Minneapolis Moline line of tractors. So up until about 38, they were mainly Twin Cities, but Minneapolis Molines were starting to be made at that point. Thus the reason why the serial number plate says Minneapolis Moline. After 38, they went into the full production of the Minneapolis Moline line, and those were all orange-yellow in color. These prior to 1939, 38 were mostly gray. However, some of them were repainted by the dealers. Not a lot of um, details on that, but we know it did happen. You can see there's some telltale signs here that this tractor may have been yellow at some point. Right here, right here. And before I restored the engine block itself, there was some signs of yellow in this area. Also on the valve cover gas or valve cover itself, there was yellow up here as I uh, prepared that for painting. So this tractor, you know, in some parts, not all over, but in some parts, indicated that it was that yellow-orange color at one time. This tractor is rated at approximately 35 horsepower. It's a four-cylinder gas engine, and it's a crank start only, no battery to start. There's a total of five wires on here, four spark plug wires, and one kill switch wire. For now, we're going with a temporary gas tank because the main tank has got some crud in the bottom and I can't clean that out here. So I need to get it home before I clean that out. I purchased it in March of 22. It was in a pole barn in Clintonville, Wisconsin. Basically sat in that place for what I'm told is six years without being moved. So a lot of the grease and oils were like molasses there was a lot of signs of it been just sitting without being turned over or used. The engine was stuck. So Zach and I went up to Clintonville on a cold March day and we worked on getting some things freed up. The clutch, uh, checked the final drives for fluid levels, checked the transmission, and generally speaking, it was all full of condensation. So when you have a piece of equipment like this sitting for a while, condensation takes its toll. There was water in the final drives, there was water in the transmission, there was water in the crankcase. Drain that out. I uh, continued the process here, moved it into these storage units. And since then, I've been uh, getting into it big time with the rehabilitation of the engine mainly. Head came off, had a valve job done, cleaned out the cylinders, lubed everything, got the clutch freed up. Everything from front to back really needed some kind of attention. Everything's filled and ready to be started and uh, we're hoping that we get some ignition and we see it take off. Clutch is in, clutch is out, we want it out. Transmission is in neutral. And the belt pulley swims free. So we know the clutch is out. Kill switch is in. First attempt at starting in six plus years. What a half choke. Hmm. I didn't hear anything yet. I'll go to full choke again. I think I might remove that ground wire on the mag just to make sure that it's not grounding the spark. Ah, nothing. It's 
seemed like there was plenty of gas there. Well, I think we'll go to step two. Hold it, stop. Okay, I just gotta get my, my brain and gear here. I'm gonna go into third. And you can go ahead. Okay, I'm getting some smoke. But no real fire, so let me change the setting of this mag. Timing looked good. And I've got the wires all in the right place. Order-wise, I had some smoke, so let's try. We can try it again before we get to the corner, and then we can go around again. Okay, I had the choke on, so I'm gonna take the choke off too, in case it's flooded. Might be flooded. But that was a good speed. She uh, fired, obviously. Quite loudly. <laughs> so I, I think it might have been flooded. Let's try it one more time before the corner. Okay, let's go around. gas there and it's it's like it's backfiring and I did check the timing and everything <laughs> I'm gonna go totally rogue and take a chance and advance them all one <laughs> if this works you can laugh at me No choke, because we have plenty of fuel. All right. Okay, n no fire at all. I'm gonna advance them one more step. Oh. I think we might be on to something now. That sounded the best. All right, let's try again.
right, that was the best we've had. Let me just check, adjust the carburetor a little bit. Sounds good. When it's going. Yeah, it was definitely sounding better. And that was probably all four cylinders? It sounded like it. I don't understand it, but I'll take it. Okay. Bye.